Vignettes can really help hold your attention on a picture and uh, using this picture here, it's actually one I've done a tutorial on in my website. It's uh, in the members area, there it is there. If we just take a look, it's a scanned image, a scanned print and you can see you've got a fair bit of grain going on there. There's also a couple of little sort of marks and blemishes. The eyes are just a bit on the dark side and uh, not quite the correct colouring. So there it is, we just bring in correcting it all, sort of uh, really sort of giving the skin a nice soft glow. And there it is, job just about done. And then I thought, right, how about adding a vignette to this image? Now this doesn't have to be a, vin you know, a portrait to add a vignette to, you can add it to a whole range of different pictures, from landscapes to still lifes to sort of general scenes. Vignettes can just help to focus the viewer's attention in on the main subject in the image and you can make them as hard as you want, the vignette that is, not the viewers. You can make the vignette as hard as you want or as soft and as subtle as you want. So let's take a look. First things first though, we're going to come across, we're going to pick up the elliptical marquee tool. It could just as easily be the rectangular marquee. It's well worth experimenting depending on your subject matter. Now I've not created new empty in, any empty layers, I've not created any layers at all because we're going to click down drag it out and over, roughly over this area there. Coming down to the bottom, let's just make this panel a little bit smaller, so hopefully we can see. There it is there, hue saturation is where I'm heading for. This has now put the layer in here, you'll notice the mask in there. That's the hue saturation, if we click on it, brings it back. Coming to the lightness slider, now the lightness slider, if we move it across to the left, you'll notice we get a solid black. Move it across to the right, we get a solid white. That's what we're looking for. Well, it's not really what we're looking for, but we're getting towards what we're looking for. Coming back to the layers panel up here. Now, what we need to do at the moment, we're just working on the hue saturation adjustment. We need to work on the mask. So click down over this area here. You'll notice a framework has now gone in on the mask. Right, to reveal the person underneath or the item underneath, you simply use a shortcut which is Command or Control I, that's Command I, Control I, there it is, we have brought our subject back. Right, next, looks a little bit hard around the edge. Now, if you sort of, uh, I know there's many, many different ways of adding vignettes, you can add it as a solid layer and you can just feather it off, but how much do you feather it off by? Is it 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 pixels? You don't know because it really does depend on the file size of the image you're working with. However, if you go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, because we're working on a mask, let's just bring this back, we're going to click down, there's the edge of the mask, preview is ticked as well so we can see it happening live on the screen. As we bring the radius across, you'll notice that they're beginning to sort of soften off, as it is in fact with the image itself. We can bring this across to something like that, and that can look pretty good. Let's click OK to that. But there's more. If I press V on the keyboard, that'll change my cursor from the Marquee tool to the Move tool. I can now click down, and we can actually move this vignette around. So we can reposition it, we can sort of change it, we can do whatever we want to do with it. But there's more again. Using the shortcut Command T or Control T on a PC will put the Transform tool around our vignette. We can now increase the size of it, like that. You may want to decrease the size of it, you may want to change the shape of it, you may want to do whatever you want to do with it. Just double click and don't forget you can still come back and you can still make a dark vignette. As I said, it really does depend on the subject, the matter you're working with and the whole thing. There it is there. You just add it almost like a, a spotlight effect to it. Job done. Not sure that works particularly well with this subject matter here. So, coming back to it. There it is there. Don't forget it's just Command or Control T. We can now reposition this, dropping it down like that. We're going to lift it up like this and just pull it in a little bit, I think, on the side. And there, and there it is. Uh, job done. You may notice the odd sort of purple line shooting up. That's because I am using the smart guides. Right, so there we go. Now, with the mask itself, the black is revealing, the white is concealing. And what I want to do is because uh, there she is, she has got a pretty little dress on underneath. We want to sort of bring this back. I'm going to change the vignette again because a vignette can be as hard as you want or it can be as subtle as you want. You can have as much of a vignette as you want or as little 
of the vignette. For example, with a landscape, you might just want to darken down the sky, yet have the foreground nice and bright. Exactly the same technique. Picking up a paintbrush. You may notice we got black as a foreground colour. You may even notice I've got a sorry, you cannot do anything with this. So click on the mask. You make, need to make sure that you're working on the mask itself. That's better. We now have got our brush back. Right square brackets. That's the right hand square bracket to make the brush bigger. I'm just going to come quickly around this area like that. Just round. Doesn't have to be a particularly neat because I've got a very cunning plan for this. So that there it is. There's our vignette. Looks brilliant. Bear with me. Coming to filter, if you look at the top one here, this is the last filter which has been applied. It's the Gaussian blur. It is Command or Control F. Right. So that's the last filter. You know you've, that's the last filter we've used. Now, if you use a really nifty little shortcut, now on a PC it's Control Alt F. That's Control Alt F. On a Mac it is Command Option F. That's Command Option F. That brings up the last filter but it opens it to the dialog box doesn't matter what the filter is it'll open it to the last dialog box you've done and there it is job done if we just click on this you can see it what I'm going to do is take this all the way up to that sort of area there just rain it back that's the sort of effect I'm after come into this just blending down the opacity in we go like that I just want a bit of a highlight vignette there it is job done Go on, give it a try. It really does work a treat. doesn't have to be on a portrait. It can be on any subject matter you, you want. Landscapes, it's totally magical. It can sort of, it just helps to hold the viewer's attention in on the subject matter that you photographed. Go on, give it a try. Part two of this video is going to be on my website and members area. Thanks for viewing. Until the next time, happy imaging and take care.